Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And one of the things that I think will have to be regulated because there's just no regulations among companies of any kind. And it's the fact that routers are being used more and more to actually, um, you know, hack the internet, use as devices that can snoop on you, use as devices that can actually do uh, DDoS attack, distributed denial of service attacks, all sorts of bad things. And the reason why? Too many outdated routers out there. Too many companies stop early and the development of the firmware for security updates of their devices. And add to that, too many devices to have security updates. Well, you need to do it manually or do it in a way that people just don't know what to do. And you get a mess, a big mess. Uh, we had, first of all, a warning that a lot of TP-Link routers, and, and the funniest thing about it is that a lot of basic chips and code within other branded routers are actually based and done by TP-Link. And, of course, all of that means that infiltration can appear, happen in your network. So, snooping, uh, stealing of personal data, and, of course, uh, use of the routers in so many ways that is, um, you know, bad because you can actually attack the web and do, like I said, denial of service attacks that, you know, break websites and so on. So, there really needs to be... I think uh, two measures taken for the routers. First of all, there needs to be a clear way that you don't have anything to do, but your router can be updated, just like another any other device. Uh, automatically, for example, during the night, it could receive new firmware updates uh, without having your intervention so that they could fix security flaws. But the other thing is, have companies make security updates for their devices for at least a minimum amount of time. Right now, some routers are abandoned after just a couple of years, and you end up with a router that's perfectly functional, does the job it needs to do, but is, of course, a security hazard because it has flaws that can be exploited from the Internet. So I would... I would force these companies to have at least five years of updates on every, every routers. And you know what? Extend that to all IoT devices. Everything uh, that is devices on the internet, uh, there should be a minimum of five years of updates to fix security flaws because this is going to become a growing and a really major issue. If your router is more than three years old, um, I would actually change it for a simple reason, even if it works, because you might have security flaws that could do a lot of bad things, including snooping on everything you do and getting passwords and things that you don't want. So it is sad, but I think there will need to be some regulations about IoT devices to make sure that we stay safe on the Internet. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.